everybody, this is Adam with BodyMorphPros.com. I'm here with Tara Persico, who just competed for her first time ever in Bikini Class A. So Tara, going up there on stage, how are you feeling after that today? It was very nerve-wracking. It was my first show ever, and it was intense, to say the least. <laughs> well, I saw, I mean, that class that you were in there, there was like, what, 10,000 girls, somewhere around there? <laughs> 30 in my Class A, yeah. So you're back there, and you see that big lineup, you see all those girls. Do you start to get a little nervous? What are you thinking as you're going, you're looking down that line, and it just doesn't seem to end. How do you feel looking at some of the other competitors? Um, everyone looks fantastic. It is a right. really hard thing to do to compete in this kind of thing, and I just wish I would have checked in later instead of being number one because I would have been able to see everyone go first. But other than that, I think it went Oh, so you were, you were sitting here doing the old <laughs> exactly. looking back behind you? Exactly. So next time, check in a little later is my only advice. <laughs> so, oh, so, and then you said this is your first time ever competing, right? This is yes, your first yes. show ever. Yes. Well, what one took you so long and what two drove you to go ahead and say you know what I'm doing it um, I've been working out for a while I just always admired the people that do do the bodybuilding so I just figured why not do something that's out of the ordinary push yourself and try it you know you only live once so you thought of this idea all on your own you yeah. didn't have anybody pulling you along no friends going come on come on not you really. decided you wanted to push yourself yeah yeah I have a friend that did it too but no, we just kind of, she was like, what do you think about doing it? I said, yeah, let's go. And we did it. And then you picked, like, the world's smallest show to, to open up in, right? 243 competitors, you know, 3,000 other bikini girls. Ah, oh, let's do it. No, that's fantastic. Good for you. Thanks. So getting ready for this entire first thing, it's your first show. Did you have any coaches that helped you along the way, or did you do everything program-wise on your own? No, I do have a coach. His name's Shane Hughley. It's Team Hughley. Um, they are great. It's, it's actually an online coach, so anyone that was worried about doing something like that, don't right. be. But um, yeah, my prep's been great. I mean, I feel fantastic. I've never felt better. And even uh, feedback-wise, informationally, how do you go about finding a nice comfort zone with a coach that is online versus one that's in person? How did you feel about all of that interaction? Um, I did a lot of research. I uh, follow a lot of people that he trains and coaches. Uh -huh. um, I contacted contacted him and um, talked to him a bunch before actually, you know, deciding to go with him and uh, I'm really glad I did. So this is someone that you think you're, you know, hey, I'm comfortable with this guy, you know, he did a good job with me, I can move forward in the future using the same individual. Yes, definitely. I, th I think he's a great coach. So how did you go about learning how to do the poses? I mean, if you got an online coach, did you have a posing instructor or someone helping you with that? Um, I did go to a couple classes, a seminar or two, um, and had some friends help, but Overall, I would send videos and um, his wife, Tiffany, would critique and send me feedback and tell me what to do and what she thinks has to change. So constantly just sending videos back and forth. So you're talking about getting critique and feedback. Mm -hmm. What was that like for you as you're, you know, you're doing your practices, you're hitting all your shots, hitting all your poses, and then someone goes, no, 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 you just did that wrong. Like, does it, do you feel like, oh, crap, or is it like, do you, does it motivate you to want to do even harder? Oh, motivation for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I want to do the best I can. Um, as far as today, how it went, I was very, very nervous. Hopefully I do good. If not, it's my first and of many to come. So that, that was going to be something I was going to ask you is now that you have done this, you climb up there on stage, have you got the bug now? Is this something that's bitching? You're going, oh, I like this. I want to do this some more. Oh, yes. Moving forward. Yeah. You know? Yes. Yes. Do you have any shows in mind or is it something you're going to just take a little bit to think about or, uh, yeah, what is it? What is it? I'm doing one next week, next Saturday. The, Where's that show going to be? Um, the Rockford, Kevin Noble. Oh, we'll be there. We'll be there. Come back. We can talk to you a little bit more. Catch you up now then for your second show. So you're going to be doing this again. Coming into this show as you're, you know, you're a rookie at this. And like you said, you're working with the online coach. How was it when you were starting to get into more of the diet nutrition aspect? Was that an easy thing for you? Or was that something, you know, do you already live that type of lifestyle? Or did you have to change your entire way of living? Um, I somewhat live a healthy lifestyle. I mean, I did indulge more on the weekends. And I say I don't at all. So... Um, it was, it's just more the scheduling, if anything, having to eat every couple hours and eat the right food combinations at the right time and how it affects your, you know, the drinking gallons of water a day and right. it's just very time consuming. So if you're going to do something like this, make sure you can put 100% into it because otherwise you're not going to succeed. Then what was the biggest struggle for you then that you found? You know, like you were talking about there, hey, I got to add this, I got to add that, gallons of water. What was the hardest part? that you had to wrap your brain around going, ah, there's that one thing that I hate, but I have to do it. Cardio. <laughs> no, and cheat meals only once a week. It's hard to watch all your friends and everybody go out and have fun and 
eat dinner and go holidays. I had a met, you know, Easter and different things. And, and you're like, here's my dry piece of chicken, mile. thank you. Yeah, exactly. And right. here's my chicken. So, so hey, well, now that the show's going to be over tonight, well, I mean, you know, we have to go through the night show first. But after that night show, you know, the show's done. You can relax a little. You got Kevin Noble next week. Yeah. You can't, you can't get out of here and have a cheat meal, can you? No. There's nothing that you can get your hands on. What do you wish you could have? What are you missing the most? What's just, oh, I got to have that? Pizza. Yeah, maybe next week. Yeah, maybe. Tacos. <laughs> Anything. Anything not chicken. Well, you can dream about it for the next couple of weeks. Yeah. Maybe you can just, you know, like you said, envision it in your head and get your hands on it eventually. No. Well, hey, I tell you what. Congratulations to you. You got a great package. Your suit looks fantastic. Who designed your suit for you? Uh, it suits you. Suits you? Yeah, suits you. Suits you swimwear. Well, hey, shout out to them, absolutely. I mean, you got to know you got a great package, you got a great suit. Best of luck to you. Moving forward, even at the Kevin Noble, we'll see you there. But until then, hey, this is Adam from BodyMorphPros.com with a first timer here. We'll see you back in the shows. Thank you.